folks, welcome back to another AIC Unplugged tune. Frogs, such a brilliant tune. And these folks over at Patreon uh, wanted to hear it too, so happy to do so. Let's crack on and have a look, shall we? We're in the usual Alice in Chains tuning here, so whilst this sounds like an E, it's actually a, a D sharp or an E flat, because all of the strings go down half a step or one frets width. So the first riff goes like this. Etc. right? So I'm fretting the 4th and 5th frets on the 5th um, and 4th strings respectively. And I'm using my 2nd and 3rd fingers because when you do the... You don't need to um, move them, right? You can just use your 1st finger to play the 4th fret and the 3rd fret on the low E. So you're going to play the open E and then those two. And you do that 4 times in all. Okay, so all eighth notes, and then you're going to play. So you're playing four, five, three, five on the E and the D. Okay, so that slowly. That's it. Next riff is probably the trickiest bit of the whole thing actually. It plays this. Like that, pretty much. Okay, so you're going to play the open E again. So you're going to do this bend, release, bend. It's quite a bluesy bend. With all right, very much in that vein. So you're going to do open E, bend half a step, release bend, open G. All right, so that's all on the same string there. Then fifth fret on the next string up, then the open E again. Let's do that bit again. And again. And then you finish the bar with with another same bend, six um, fret on the on the G, bent up half of half a step, and open G. So the first bar. Then you're gonna play a harmonic natural harmonic. So you're just going to rest your finger lightly over the 7th fret. The easiest way to get it to sound out is to play it super lightly and take your finger off straight away. Like that, okay? If you leave your finger on it, it doesn't really ring out as much. So, little tip. Okay, that was a pretty good one. So slowly for the second bar you'll play. And then you're just playing open E to open D, and then you keep the um, open D going while you play alternately. So then you're gonna go four, three, right? And you can play it you want but I think they do open strings there so the whole phrase slowly oops see that harmonic got killed there didn't it so just practice that I will as well I promise so to speed Of it, it subtly changes though into the next section. Rather than playing 
four three, you play five four. So it goes. To that next section, right? So slowly. Exactly the same phrase, you're just moving your fingers up a fret, right? Because then that leads into this next part, which is a G chord. To a like, diminished chord, right? So you're just going to do one, uh, three, four, finger wise, and then your little second finger. You can just take off your third finger and play the fourth fret. And this is in 3 4 now, so you're going to play. Round and round, okay? Scott's part actually veers off a little bit and he plays. Which is the same, he's just replacing. A high G over the top of Jerry's low G. So three five five zero and then four five for that part. Okay, next section goes like this. Pretty straightforward. Um you just got four three five there and you're gonna play Pegiate that, then you play all three, take your little finger off, and that's that part. Then to a C. And I'm just playing that with down strokes. Down, 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 down. Got some lead licks which go that's the first riff right so slowly five seven this is on the D string then you're gonna play a bend so keep your fingers where they are in terms of position so one, two, and then I'm using my third fret for the bend. Then you change position. It's like a sort of secondary pentatonic position, right? On the eighth fret, right? Half step bend. All right, so slowly. Second time, he just plays. I don't think he does the bend. A little bit of vibrato at the end. Okay, so give that a bit of a waggle. Uh, then you play the first part again. And the last time, you just stop there. So you just play six notes. And then it's an open G or whichever way you want to play that. Outro is pretty cool. Lots of harmonics. Um, it comes in after two beats. So you're going to play one, two. That last part again. That's the rhythm, okay? And that's all in the 12th fret. Then you do um, 7th fret. And that comes in... One, two, three. And then you let that ring out again. Um, I think that rings out for like a beat and a half, and again you play... Just out three open strings there, right? Then you've got these alternating um, natural harmonics on the seventh fret on the B and the fifth fret on the G. Yeah, 
it just carries on like that for a while. Um, the phrase is just... So seven five seven five seven five. That's that. One of the riff is etc. Right. So um, wicked little thing again. More of that, isn't it? So open E. Third fret on the G, bent up half a step. Then, yeah, and you hold that until the very last eighth note, and then you play the fourth uh, fret on the next string down. Then you've got this run. Watch with your fingers there. I'm only keeping my first, second, and third fingers in line with the third, fourth, and fifth frets, right? So you play, so there I'm just sticking to the allotted frets, right? First finger's bending, second finger to the fourth fret, and my third finger. That's just down one string. And play, make sure you play that one with your second finger, because then your first finger's free to go to the third fret on the G. So slowly. You go into this cyclical pattern, and then the second bar of the phrase goes those two notes, right? Bend and release, that's a half step bend and release on the fourth fret on the A and the open E, and then you've got another, another start to that riff, right? So slowly. All right, and then you go back into a bit of that. And I think it ends with some fifth fret harmonic action. So I hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.